stress, um, chronic stress has various different then can contribute to the potential development of diabetes. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kimmy Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath and co-founder of the Kimmy Disease Solution and Chiogenesis, Fiona Chin, and I'm joined again today by another amazing naturopath, Emily Carhill. And so why don't you just, why don't you start, Emily, with a bit of a definition of what you perceive and, you know, if a patient came in and you're thinking, well, they're, and they're stressed and they may not have recognised that. So what... What is it? What is stress? Like, what does it look like? How do we define it? And how do we know if our patients are stressed? I think there's a few different things we need to think about when we're um, assessing stress or talking about stress, because people often, I'll often have people, um, clients coming in, and when I start to talk about their stress levels, oh no, you know, my stress isn't very high. Um, you know, I can. I can manage it, all those sorts of things because people perceive stress as just being that that feeling of feeling stressed or overwhelmed, like that sort of, I guess, emotional connection to what they think stress feels like. And, yes, that's certainly a part of stress and it's certainly something that we talk about. But we also need to look at stress, you know, in its bigger context, which is anything that is um, that I guess is stressful on the body or anything that puts the body out of balance or anything um, that the body needs to work harder to deal with. So yes, uh, our emotions are definitely a massive part of that and that can definitely affect our physiology of our body. But also the food we eat can potentially be stressful on our body. Um, uh, the toxins that we're exposed to is another form of stress physical activity um too much or too little can be stressful on the body so what's the link between the chronic stress and kidney function because obviously it's the adrenal glands that sit on top it's not the kidneys that are potentially making cortisol and all those things so why are we flagging stress as a potential contributor to maybe long-term chronic kidney disease so stress um chronic stress has various different actions throughout our body which then can go on to affect our kidneys so we know that stress increases the risk of cardiovascular um of cardiovascular problems can increase our increases our blood pressure um also changes and increases our cholesterol level uh stress as well is linked to the development of insulin resistance and then can contribute to the potential development of diabetes um stress chronic stress and stress over time it changes the um, levels of inflammation or it, it switches on some of our inflammatory um, type genes in the body as well so we get higher levels of inflammation um, within the body we know that inflammation is partly responsible or involved in the development of most chronic conditions including kidney disease um, it suppresses our immune system as well. So that can then go on and have follow on effects through the kidneys. It, you know, makes our, um, blood stickier and more likely to clot and cause plaque. And so that also can reduce blood flow to the kidneys. Um, so it's lots of, I guess, different areas that, you know, stress and cortisol um, influence around the body, which a lot of them are known to potentially go on and cause kidney disease. If you've liked this video, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the like button. That means you'll get uh, notified anytime we create new content. And thank you again for joining me and sharing your wisdom with everybody. And um, yeah, I think I said hit like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye. Bye.